Hello everyone and welcome back to the toll booth. My name is Michael and as you can see today I'm playing a little bit of FIFA 16. I'm continuing my series while ooh, as I play with the International Women's Cup with the US Women's National Soccer Team. Um, Alex Morgan is starting this out just on a long... Oh gosh. Did she hurt her knee? Oh, nope. She's fine. Okay. <laughs> After that start I will be talking today about um, about how I feel about women finally being in FIFA 16 and kind of women's soccer as a whole. I apologize if I ever say anything confusing about soccer or football. Typically when I say football I mean soccer, but just mainly because I'm playing with the US Women's National Team. I might say soccer every now and then. I might say football. Um, if I ever talk about American football, I will typically say American football. So just a little disclaimer. Hopefully nothing gets too confusing. But yeah, so women are in FIFA 16 for the first time. Well, they're in FIFA for the first time ever in the FIFA 16 edition. Oh shoot, that's the ref. I thought that was me. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, um, I am pretty happy that women are in FIFA. Um, I'm a huge fan of the U.S. Women's National Team. I'm also a huge fan of the U.S. Men's National Team. But especially with um, the women win women winning the World Cup this past summer, that's just a huge it was a huge spark for the U.S. Women's National Team and U.S. Soccer as a whole I hope um, I'm a huge soccer fan living in the US and I of course have my favorite Premier League team and all that but I don't I don't really watch MLS all that much because it I, there isn't a team right near me that I can say I'm definitely wholeheartedly a supporter of and because I don't have that team, I don't really know who to who to cheer for. So when when I get the national team, like the w women's U.S. Nas U.S. women's national team, it gives me someone to cheer for. And this summer was absolutely amazing for the U.S. women's national team. I actually lived with this summer an Italian. Um, I was living in southern Wisconsin for a little bit and lived with an Italian go figure and oh what a goal <laughs> oh man Carly Lloyd continuing her run wow alright good goal almost scored a goal like that at the end of last match Carly's got two in the tournament already so yeah as anyway as I was saying sorry about that brief interruption but um, as I was saying, I lived with an Italian this summer. He is a huge football fan. He calls it he calls it football. Uh, he also has kind of a kind of a funny accent. Well, it's French. I shouldn't say it's funny, but he he didn't really have a team to cheer for because I don't think Italy were in. I don't think Italy were in the Women's World Cup, and he's. He said that in Italy, no one cares about women's soccer. Like it's just kind of, it's just kind of a joke. Um, no one really cares. No one watches it. The only people that watch it are um, the boyfriends, just so that they can have fun after the match. If you catch my drift. Ooh, ooh, that was not a good challenge. By was that Megan Rubino? Yeah, not a good challenge. Don't give me a yellow. Ah. <sighs> All right, yeah, I can understand that. She didn't go in well. But anyway, the Italian said that women's soccer is not very big. So I was uh, so I told him, you know, just sit down, watch a US women's national team with me and a national team game with me. And all he could think about was, wow, these girls are cute. Which, I mean, to be fair, they 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 are. But you're kind of missing the whole point if that if that's your main takeaway from the match you're missing the whole point and a lot of pe I know a lot of people have uh, have complaints about the women's game in general ooh 
Ooh, that was a great pass, actually. Um, yeah, so apparently there are a lot of complaints about the women's game, which I really don't understand at all. Because, yes, I love watching men's soccer. I I watch a lot of um, English Premier League. I, watch, I even watch the Euros, um, even though I honestly have no good team to support. I kind of support England because I studied abroad there. That That's a, that's a story in, in, in its own. But but going back to with the women's game, I don't think, I don't understand why people have problems with the women's game. Because, I mean, it's still football. Some people are saying, oh, they play so slowly or they don't know what they're doing or I don't I don't even know what their arguments are. If someone if someone uh if if one of you out there are one of the people that don't watch women's football because of some reasons, let me know cuz I honestly don't understand it. When I talk to people, they say, "Oh, it's so slow, it's boring, stuff like that." And I I'm hard pressed to to believe any of those cuz okay it may be slow but unless you're watching the Premier League there aren't a lot of fast football teams out there and and I just think it's a it's a different style of play it's not it's not a, the kind of we're going to sit back and then counterattack the entire time it's not you're not gonna have end to end stuff. It's gonna be by the way, it's one nothing at halftime. Good old Carly Lloyd, trusty Carly Lloyd putting the US ahead of Mexico, um in the women's international cup. I have to keep reminding myself what they call it in FIFA sixteen. <laughs> and I forgot what I was talking about now. But yeah, it's the women's game is a different style of football. It's still football. It's it's not like some kitty version of football. It's not it's not like they don't know what they're doing. They definitely know what they what they're doing. I just I just don't understand why people don't like it. I feel like they're they're kind of the kind of the football snobs or the kind of they got their nose up in the air well oh your football is not not good enough for me I'm a, I'm a purist oh man that was almost perfect Morgan oh wait is that in it Morgan Brian she is just getting in very advanced positions for a defensive midfielder well she's playing a defensive midfielder role but she's technically a center mid I just kind of put her there because I didn't have any defensive midfielders but you know, same difference. She should know to be a little bit more cautious. <sighs> oh, jeez, Morgan Bryan just jumped in the way. She wanted that ball, I guess. So yeah, I'm very happy. Do I do I think that um, there are going to be women's clubs in FIFA 16 or in um, future editions of FIFA? I doubt it. Would I play them? Not, not a lot. Um, I like I like playing in career mode, so I could maybe use a woman's team, but I don't. I don't really see myself going out of my way to use one. Um, I I love the women's national teams, and I've done I've done matches with friends. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea who I should take out here, but I've done matches with friends where we have we've gone women's international teams and then just hit random three or five times to to decide which team we're going to be using, and I really enjoy that. I think that's that's really fun because it's something new, and after especially after the Women's World Cup, um, we we started to know the different women that play for different countries so like we, sausage for germany we would we would always like we'd always be yelling out her name and um oh, it's been <laughs> it's been a while since the women's world cup uh, solid 6 months so i don't remember everyone's names but but like we could we could just 
pull out all these women's names and be like, oh, we know they're good at going forward, or you're more of a defensive player, why the heck are you in the six-yard box? And, you know, that for me is fun, but I can also do that with club teams and, and men's international teams, but so what I, I would like to see more women international teams. I would like to see at least maybe 32. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why FIFA can't say, or maybe that's why the video game can't say World Cup, because they don't have enough women's teams to make a World Cup. Because in the Women's International Cup, I have to keep reading in the top left corner, um, in, in the Women's National Cup, International Cup, there are 12 teams, because I believe there are only 12 women's teams in FIFA. That makes a lot of sense. It also helps talking this stuff out. But because... Oh, shoot. Um, because there are only 12 women's teams, maybe that's why they can't say World Cup. So maybe have enough for a World Cup. Um, that would that would be fantastic. I would love that. And that would also give a little bit more variety so you don't have to play the same 11 teams, 12 teams, all over, over and over again. Because that, that gets kind of repetitive, I feel be like, oh, Mexico beat me again, or oh, I beat Sweden again, yep, whatever, typical match against Sweden, I guess, oh, it was a good tackle, great tackle, who was that, I think that was, was that Heather O'Reilly, I have no idea who that was, whoever it was, a great tackle, nice job, Hope, <sighs> oh gosh, P. Solis is just trying to torment Hope Solo <laughs> to no avail, obviously. Good movement up the wing. If only Abby Wambach were in the box. Well, that's not where I wanted that ball. Alright, Allie Krieger is my right back. Does she normally play right back? You know, I don't pay attention. <laughs> I should pay more attention to who I have starting and stuff, because like, I see these names and I was like, and I don't know if they're actually where they should be playing. Good tackle. Good tackle by Tobin Heath on the left. I think I had her playing on the right last last match. But okay, put her in as a sub here and she knows what she's doing. Considering she is a left midfielder, so she should. Um, let's go, Abby. Oh, gosh, Abby. <laughs> Calm down. All right, let's, let's not give up a goal. Especially, it was only one mat, one point. I'm only up by one goal. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh no! And Mexico won their first match against England. So these are the these two teams have three points. The other teams have zero. So if Mexico, if I draw, I'll only have four points. If I win, I'll have six points, and I will be pretty much, I will be almost guaranteed. I'd only need a draw to move on, which is, which would be fantastic. Because I can maybe give some of my girls a break. Oh, Abby Wambach making a great run. Abby Wambach scoring a, nope. <laughs> oh, got a corner. Where's Abby? I can't tell. Ouch! Now, I can't tell. <laughs> I just rolled over my foot on my chair. I can't tell which one's Abby, so I'm just gonna kick it into the box. Well, I guess let the goalkeeper get it. Oh, I should really. Be Yay! All right, one nil. We got six points. Mexico's got three. Uh, I don't know how the other matches ended, but we're in a good position to move out of the group. So that's good. Hopefully we will do that. Find out next time. Carly Lloyd, the goal scorer, celebrating our victory. Hopefully we can have another one in the next match. Thanks for watching.